milestone in improving road connectivity. A newly completed 24-kilometer section of the Delhi-Mumbai Expressway has been opened to public in Haryana's Faridabad. Although the NHAI has not yet scheduled an official inauguration, the stretch has been open to traffic for about a month. Now, I'll tell you, it will significantly ease congestion on the roads around Faridabad. It has been made at a whopping uh, cost of 1,700 plus. More importantly, the expressway also connects to the Delhi Agra Highway and H19, making travel to and from Hyderabad safer. I'm given to understand Kritika continues to stay with me to draw more perspective as far as what that's looking like. Um, you know, Kritika, as far as we talk about how traffic is sometimes my home city of Bengaluru always takes the cake away, but we know what infrastructure really means in terms of the fact that how commute for anybody who wants to access any part, in fact, across the country would want to look for ways to ease that because ultimately you're spending so much of time in traffic and we're given to understand this new project is going to do just that, make life of commuters much easier, Kritika. That's right. In fact, uh, commute that is shorter not only saves on time but also on fuel, which given uh, the way our climate is also going is something that needs to be given a bigger look at. Currently, we're also reporting from the Delhi-Mumbai Expressway. We have crossed the Haryana side and again, we'll uh, show you the little signboard that we've come across. This is giving you a sense of how um, Manesar and Jhurka in uh, Haryana, just 48, 59 kilometers away. Alwar in Rajasthan, also now just 72 kilometers away. So this particular section that has now been opened up aims to relieve uh, Mathura Road, which is a highly congested spot, again, in the national capital of uh, the congestion, and uh, ease and give alternative routes for people traveling to Palla, Sohona, and Faridabad. So what happens then is that the travel time cuts down from 2.5 hours to 25 minutes, in fact. And this is from Southeast Delhi to Sohona, which is in southern Gurgaon. So that is uh, one of the motives. Uh, one of the aims that this project aims to achieve. The total cost for the project, uh, as um, Union Minister uh, Ramji Singh Udori pointed out, is around uh, five and a half thousand crores. And uh, not just uh, towards Haryana, but also uh, this route specifically, the six-lane highway that you're seeing on your screens right now, it also cuts down travel time to Jaipur from five hours to three and a half hours and also to Gujarat from uh, 18 hours to ten and a half hours. And also when the project will be completed, the national capital can be connected to the financial capital, Mumbai, in just a matter of 12 hours. We also passed uh, the under-construction area in Delhi, which is supposed to give an elevated corridor for commuters wherein they can cut across uh, the very congested uh, locations around Kalindi Kunj. So uh, the entire uh, Yamuna River Bank wherein you would see uh, how um, day after day multiple commuters uh, line up and it is completely completely a horror, especially in uh, office hours to travel during that route. Uh, it cuts across that through an elevated platform. So Bartla House and other areas like that. Right, uh, get to, I'd have to interject uh, you there, but you're absolutely right. It's not just my hometown of Bengaluru that has a traffic issue. It is a problem across the country, but that's a conversation for some other day. But for the moment, we leave it at that. Thank you very much for joining us on those top stories.